If you could go to the, back to the IMSS, would you? Yes, definitely. Yeah, 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 without a doubt. Uh, in fact, I hope to in 2025. Um, yeah, so we're, we're trying to fly all of my class twice before the new class comes along. Who'll be? They'll be selected in October this year, and then they'll go through their two and a half years of, of training. So by the time we finish flying our second missions, they should be yeah, hot off training, cool. ready to go with their missions. The best thing you ever to view from the window in the space station. Hi, oh, Marcia. Oh God, um, it's difficult. It's so difficult. Um, honestly, every time I went to the cupola, I wondered. I just wondered if or. I go to the cupola and maybe it'll just be the same thing. Every time I went to the cupola, there was something else that caught my eye because it was either a different uh, weather systems or different lighting conditions, obviously a different part of the planet that you're looking at. Um, generally speaking, the, the most awe-inspiring is the aurora because it, there's just something very magical, very ethereal. If you could give one piece of advice to a budding astronaut, what would it be? Um, so I would say, firstly, you've got, to be, you've got to be passionate about what you do, you've got to enjoy what you do. I would say grasp every opportunity that comes your way. Um, if you want to fly to space, it's all about just being a low risk candidate. So what I mean by that is somebody who they know has traveled, they've worked with other people in an international environment, they've gone outdoors and, and, and they've done these exciting things. Maybe they speak a foreign language because the space agency knows, they know what they can train you at. Like well, we can train anyone to do that. What we can't train is yes. your personality and your character, and that's what you develop, you know, throughout your life by pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Um, so take every opportunity that comes your way. What's the best thing you've ever flown, and what was it like in that process? Ah, uh, best thing I've flown. Do you know what? Um, gosh, I flew a DC-3. Uh, which is this old, old aircraft, and there was a wonderful uh, female test pilot who, who flew it, and she told me to stall this thing, and I was like very gentle with it, because it's very big, you know, old, old World War II aircraft. I was like, no, 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 and put it into this big stall, and we were spinning it, we nearly duped it, I couldn't believe what we were doing, and it was one of the best flights I've ever, ever had. We just had such a ball, I mean, I never, just never thought you could do something with that aircraft, so that's probably one of the, the favorite flights I've had. You still that the army are better at flying than they are at. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>